Welcome everyone. The Daily Puzzle, April 1st, 2015. That's 4115 if you're keeping score on paper because somehow that makes more sense. So let's go ahead and do this. You go ahead and get that thing right there. You solve that daily puzzle while I jump in. I apologize to the uh, fans and followers of this YouTube video series. It's been a little while. I've been traveling. Uh, we were in Texas for the Chess Kid, uh, for some ChessKid.com representative stuff at their uh, state championships. Shout out to Texas, by the way, a very well organized event. Awesome, over 1,500 kids. So, been traveling, been very busy, but I apologize. And we are going to have daily puzzles for the remainder of this week. Here we go. A new month has begun. Let's solve this thing. Now, as you know, whenever solving daily puzzles, and this is a pro tip, hashtag pro tip, it always makes sense to sing Ariana Grande. One last time I need to be the one who takes you home. Mm -hmm. Last time gonna solve this puzzle. Um... So clearly, if we are solving this puzzle, it looks like White has no real chance to win this position. Um, so I'm considering taking h7 and delivering stalemate. Um, whenever you have a passed pawn and an extra two rooks, they're really it, that's actually a well-known theoretical draw. And there's uh, there's no way to win end games when you have two extra rooks. So you probably didn't know that. And if you've, if you've won in games with two extra rooks, it was probably because your opponent messed up um, or, you know, it's, it's unforced errors like in tennis. Uh, so this position, I'm, white is lucky to even be on the board, especially because black still has a pawn. So black is pretty close to winning. And I would guess that you know, the only way to for white to save is to either take h7 and stalemate or to move the rook to a square, which threatens checkmate, which would also force stalemate. So, um, you know, there is this option of playing king to e6, which uh, leaves black with only one move in the position. It's a zugzwang. He has to play king to g7. And probably pushing that pawn and getting a queen looks like checkmate. But because I know that theoretically there's no way to win endgames when you're up two rooks... Um, I can't go for that, so obviously I have to take h7. Hmm, that's incorrect, huh? There must be something wrong with our daily puzzle solver. All right, well, let me try the other way to get checkmate in one, and it's going to say correct, because obviously, like I said, you can't win up two rooks. No, also incorrect. Moving here, no, moving here. Okay. I mean, I talked about moving the king here, like I said, and getting checkmate in two, but we already know that theoretically you can't win these endgames, especially after you've, you've sung Ariana Grande in front of an audience. You really have no right to uh, continue to present yourself to anyone after that. So, um, although you can notice that moving the king to any other square would also allow the king out, and then you could get a queen, but the difference is that moving to any other square would allow him to go to e7 instead of g7, and then getting a queen would allow king to d7. So, but that means that those are all of those options have to be better than king e6, which is mate in two. So I'm going to try that. Hmm. Our daily puzzle solver must be broken today. It is April 1st, so maybe it's a new day. Hashtag April Fools. Am I right? Who saw that coming? April 1st. Joke's on you. You were like, what was Danny doing? What do you mean you can't win up two rooks? Get a reality check, all right? Follow me on Twitter if you plan to not take anyone seriously. All right, let's do it right. King e6, followed by Queen Aruski, which is Czechalina Lashlamba, which it happens to be French for uh, stop taking people so seriously, which ironically is also Italian for get a life. No, I'm kidding. Um, I love you all. Happy April Fools. Make sure you don't read or listen uh, to anything today or... Don't take anything you read or listen to seriously today. This was fun. Again, I do apologize for missing almost a week, I think, of daily puzzles. It's been it's been a busy time uh, in the chess.com offices. But it should be fun solving puzzles this week, and I promise not to spend the whole week talking about how you can't win up two rooks in an endgame. There is somebody out there who thought I was serious. Admit it. Raise your hand. Guilty. Guilty. Right? Go get some Ariana Grande in your life. You know what I'm talking about, right? One last time. <laughs>